Hello friends, I'm Fox Van D, and today I'm going to share with you the meetup I went to this year in April. A couple called Derek and Tanya have a YouTube channel called Van Life Voyages. They are a very sweet couple and have become very good friends with them. Derek is a quadriplegic with no use at all of his legs. He's had several accidents in the last year and a half, and he's been in a wheelchair for over 20 years. The only time he gets out of it, really, when he goes to bed. He has no use of his legs and about 10% of use in one arm, one arm and a little bit more than that in the other arm. Tanny has dystonia. POTS disease and fibromyalgia, amongst other things. And they considered themselves one person together because what Tanya can't do, Derek can help her with. What Derek can't do, Tanya helps him with. So two people make a whole. So their channel is about encouraging people with disabilities and chron chronic illnesses to get up and move around, get outdoors, enjoy the sunshine and the fresh air. They don't have to be stuck in a house all the time, sitting on the couch, watching TV. So they want you to know when they do their videos, they try to share things that they do, even with all their complications. They have a really nice van, which has a handicap ramp. So Derek can get in and out of the van with his wheelchair. It's pretty cramped, but he still manages it. It's harder for him to travel because of getting in and out of the bed in the van. And also, now that he has a four-wheel drive wheelchair, he can get around better outdoors. But even that sometimes is difficult. You should watch their channel. They have a video on there where Derek was getting in the little trailer that they pull sometimes when he travels. And the whole trailer tipped upside down on top of him. The <laughs> fire department had to come get pulled off of him. Anyhow, they're a fun channel. They do great live streams. Derek's usually there on the live streams. Tandy does a lot of solo camping. They make a lot of camping trips and traveling together. But oftentimes, Derek is unable to go. So, he's had a lot of issues in the last year and a half. He broke his leg by falling out of the wheelchair. Then he had a sore on his backside. He was in a hospital for the last two and a half months before the meetup. But he did manage to get to the meetup and spend several days with us. So... I'll share some video clips of the meetup and hope you'll enjoy. So the meetup started in April. Towards the end of April, I believe the 24th of April this year, 2023. And they had a, that was their first major meetup, uh, at short meetups with a few, their first major meetup, uh, at short meetups with a few people. Otherwise, they go to a lot of meetups. And they had the SEAL team come, SEALs, their SEAL team members come to uh, to the Lake Isabella a couple of days before the main event. And we were able to spend a lot of time getting to know each other and really having a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. This is the lake you're seeing here, Lake Isabella, up just above Bakersfield, up in the mountains. There's my box man, of course. And this is before everybody arrives. We did have a few people come. Uh, Gracie and Jock's Adventures were at the SEAL team. And then Tim from Mobeg for your bucks. 
was also at the SEAL team portion, and there a few other people showed up during that. Um, and of course, Hanny and Derek, and then we had the dogs, of course. So this is Lake. You see the dam behind it, and they were working on that during the time we were there. This is a be really nice camp area, wide open spaces. We did have to move back from where we started close to the lake because they had unusual uh, uh, waters. Uh, what happened is so much snow melt that the lakes were lake was getting too full. So where the dog is there, that's Jock. Uh, we had to move back from there. We were right just before the rocks, the campfire there. So we had to move back and camp a little bit further back because the water was raising still. So it came up past the rocks, like 20 or 30 feet beyond where we started within two days. By the time the main group that got there was up like 30 feet uh, closer. But we had a great time. We had great weather the whole time we were there. Uh, we had one day was windy. The rest of the time is really nice. And we did have um, a little bit of breeze every day in the afternoon where it cooled us down because it was nice and warm, not too hot, not not miserable, just nice. So that is Tanya and Derek's ProMaster and there's my box fan. And this is the lake beyond where we were camped. There were other campers there, but not very many. And we had a, the whole reign of the sea. We had to, our choice pick of the place. They had uh, bathrooms and dump station and trash. They didn't have it very well set up, I will say that, but at least it was there. Tanya and Derek paid all the SEAL team members fees, including food for us, all the time before the main meetup. They, we had more food than we could eat. So here you're going to see the little gazebo. Tim from Mo Make For Your Bucks brought the gazebo. We had it all set up. We had wood brought in so we could have the campfires. And we had our chairs around the fire pit at night and had so much food. Tim cooks the whole time we were there. He made uh, pho and bomb me sandwiches and egg rolls. And we had homemade lemonade. So anyhow, we had a really good time. We also had homemade lemon. Lemons, fresh lemons provided by one of our campers. And another camper provided breakfast pancakes. We had rolls and muffins and all kinds of stuff by Van Life Voices. We had a good time. There's a Tim Tim's van, and I can't remember whose trailer that was. There you see Gracie and Jock's. RV. So all told that we had about 12 or 13 people, people at the meetup. It was a lot of fun. I was able to do interview and tour. Here's everybody out in the water. Wave, everybody. <laughs> this is where Jock learned how to swim. And Kaliki was there. California Travels came to the main meetup. Maxie didn't like to get in the water much, but there towards the end, he got all the way out to his uh, belly, a uh, little bit beyond the belly. So he didn't learn to swim, but he did get out there. He would put his feet in the water. Time he just waded out there and went quite a ways, kind of paddled back to the shore. 
So all in all, it was a great meetup, perfect size, a smaller meetup, meet you really get to know people, had a great time. Don't forget to check out these channels, Man by Voices, Bobank, Boyu Bucks, and Gracie and Jock's Adventures. Thank you for watching.